Hi everyone, I'm Kalea Youngblood, your Chief Marketing Officer here at the Austin Board of Realtors, and I'm joined today with Carlin Ellis. Welcome. Thank you. We are doing our 2023 Board of Director election interviews, and Carlin is joining me as one of your candidates. So why don't we just kick it off today? Carlin, tell us who you are, a little bit about yourself, your company, and why you're running for the Board of Directors. Thank you so much. I appreciate the introduction. <laughs> um, as she mentioned, I'm Carlin Ellis. I am broker and owner of Realty One Group Prosper, and I have been in the real estate industry over 20 years. I married into it. I married a custom home builder, so uh, I kind of naturally fell into it a long, long time ago, <laughs> uh, way long time ago. <laughs> and I... Um, Let's see. So I was a top producing sales agent in the Hayes County area for over 15 years and decided to open an independent brokerage, ran that for about seven years, and then uh, ended up converting it to a franchise and now have two offices, South Austin and Buda, and a little over 166 agents or so wow, under my brokerage. Wow, office. It is, it yeah, is. Yeah, and you lot represent of sort of the south side of the city, which is I do. always nice. I live south as well. That's right, that's right. <laughs> um, well, let's put on our, our ABOR director hats today. As you know, we have two sides of the equation. We have the association side, and then we also have the MLS actress side. So let's talk about the MLS first. Yes. What will you do as a board of directors member for actress do to reinforce the actress MLS, and what do you want to see move forward as we enter into 2023 and beyond? I love that question because uh, where I am located, uh, MLS is a hot topic in my office. Um, so depending on where you're located, you may have to be a part of multiple MLSs. So one of my passions and one of the reasons I decided to run for this office three years ago was to help bridge some gaps. Hopefully, uh, we're working on that in, on the board. Um, you know, my vision personally, long-term vision, is to see us have a more cohesive, unified MLS throughout our state. That is a huge project and a huge undertaking. So I don't, it, it's not going to happen overnight. I joined the board three years ago to help move us in that direction, and we definitely are, but it's progress and it's, uh, it's a marathon for sure. So I'm going to continue that goal uh, I set out to, to seek, to fulfill three years ago. Uh, there's a lot more work to be done. Um, but for MLS, it's, it's vital that we protect the integrity of the system, the information going into it, the information coming out of it. We make sure it's in the right hands of the users um, and keep it out of the hands that don't have any access or rights to it. So uh, for me, those are the two major priorities, the integrity of it and, and a future vision of more uniformed MLS. Love that, love that. All right, now let's switch to the association side. Okay. As you know, we work off of a wonderful strategic plan. Yes. And so what part of the strategic plan on the association on the ABOR side is most important to you and that you would like to see move forward into 2023 and beyond? So that's a great question. I love that question because for me, I live and breathe and die this piece of the plan all the time, which is elevating our industry, our profession. Um, as a broker owner and having all these agents under me, every day I'm working to achieve success in that area for my agents, making sure that they are operating with the utmost professionalism, that they are educated, they're protecting their clients' interests at all times, um, and making sure that happens throughout our industry. And ABOR is a crucial role in that. Our jobs this day and age is so hard. It's so hard to be successful as an agent without having other help. You can't do it alone. You, know, you may not need a personal team, but you need support from your board, from your broker, um, possibly from other agents, and ABOR is able to provide that on all levels. ABOR has worked really hard to meet our agents where they are, whether that means they want in-person training, on-demand training, attending on Zoom, uh, but in person you can come and network and build support and build a family around you from meeting other agents and other associates and affiliates as well. So, I, you know, to me as a broker owner, that one is a no-brainer. Elevating the industry. Absolutely. Yeah. Wonderful. Well, let's talk about you, yourself as, as a seat at the table. What do you feel that you bring to the table that will help move the association forward on both the actress and the, ML and the actress MLS and the association side? So we mentioned already that I'm a, I'm a South girl. Uh, I live in Buda, Hayes County. Um, I, you know, the, the Austin Board of Realtors isn't just for agents living in the city of Austin. We have a lot of members, huge, huge portion of our membership resides in counties outside of Travis County. And so I bring a perspective of what do those agents need, what's important to them. While it is critical that we know what's going on in our city, we stay on top of 
zoning and ordinances and, and all the changes going on in our city council and what have you, um, it's important to also keep the perspectives of what our agents need outside of Travis County. So I'm bringing that to the board. But beyond that, I'm also bringing the perspective of a broker owner, and I once was a top producer. So I think having a balance on our board is really important. We need agents who are individual solo agents. We need team leaders. We need broker owners. We also need uh, the luxury agents, the farm and ranch, the first time home buyer specialties. You know, we need to see diversification on all levels, including ethnic ethnicities as well. Um, so I, I bring that broker owner approach to our board and make sure that, you know, again, education, integrity of our profession um, is always at the forefront. Yeah, and I know that integrity continues to be a challenge. So let's talk about challenge for a second. From the national, even global, down to the local level, what do you feel the biggest challenges to our industry right now? And what would you say that Actress and Abor should be doing about those challenges that we face every day? So literally right now, it's the change in our market and us mm -hmm. competing, uh, making sure we're the voice that's heard to our consumers about our local market because what's happening as a, a national economy, a national scale, international, you know, the news loves to use the word recession. Um, but Austin is, is very insulated from a lot of what's going on nationally. And so making sure that we are educating the public that what you hear on the national news isn't what's necessarily going on in this market. And the board, I think, can be a really great resource to provide education to the agents. Um, you know, we're, we're putting out statistics. We have been since COVID started weekly as to what's going on, live data every week as to active pendings and solds, breaking down by the counties. So we're putting that information in our agents' hands so that you can then turn around and, and get it out to the consumers, letting them know that now is a great time to buy and why, and, and that we do see rates continuing to rise and you know the pitch um, but I think it's really important we do that but on a bigger scale and the reason I decided to run for election on the board of directors three years ago is to protect our profession long term there are a lot of outside forces coming at us you know they they want to take the realtor out of the equation and I don't think that's ever going to happen we are so needed it's such a vital um, major life decision that affects homeowners' financial ability and financial wealth over their lifespan. So I think it's really important. We're not going away, but we have to protect these outside invaders from taking our business away. Um, and, and the way we do that is through education, um, educating our members and educating the public, giving our agents the tools that they need to be able to communicate to the public. Our, our important role in, in the home buying process and home selling process. Um, and beyond that, again, it's the integrity and protecting that information and that data as well. Yeah. Great. Well, wonderful answer. There's so much going on and it's always good to have a seat at the table for sure. So as you talk to your colleagues and as they go to vote for our election this year, what would you like to say to them um, as, you, as you run for the board of directors? So first and foremost, please vote. It's really important your voice is heard, whether you vote for me or someone else, I, I don't care. I wanna see our numbers of voters improve dramatically. I'd love to see us double uh, last year's election vote. That's ambitious, but we'll see if we can do it. Um, so it's important to be educated to know who you're voting for. I obviously would like to ask for your vote. Again, I bring a broad perspective, um, a lot of experience behind my vote. And just know that when I'm at this table, I'm sitting here making decisions, I'm doing it on your behalf and keeping your best interests at heart. Wonderful. Well, thank you again for joining us. Thank Wonderful you. interview. Thank you. For those of you watching, please be on the lookout for your voting opportunity on September 19th. It'll close on September 21st at 5 p.m. So don't forget to vote and we'll see you next time. Thanks for joining us. Bye.